Hello trombone players, it's Mr. Santucci. I'm going to be showing you some of the first notes in the book on page four and five, but before we do that, let's take a look at the book. It's Essential Elements for Band, book one for trombone. I want to point out something to you. If you look in the back of the book, flip all the way to the back of the book, and then you'll see page 48 is the last numbered page. When you flip before that, you have 47 and 46. And 46, this is very important, is your position chart. And the position chart shows a picture of each position. When you get to the um, pages of the book where it's going to be telling you what notes to play and where to put your slide, it'll give you a number, and it's that chart that they're talking about is the numbers that they're referring to. There's positions for your slide. So when you have your slide all the way in, that's called first position. And then second position, your slide's out a couple of inches. We're not really using that one yet. Third position, your slide is out a couple more inches. It's right near the bell. You can see, here's the bell of my trombone. Here's my slide. I don't want to touch the bell, but I just put my slide near it. That's third position. Then fourth position is a few more inches out. It's past the bell a little bit. Fifth position, we're not using yet. And then sixth position, the slide's pretty much all the way out. And then seventh position, we're not using. The slide's really far out, all the way on my fingertips. Don't, you don't need to do that. You're gonna drop your slide off of your trombone. So be careful, okay? Don't worry about seventh. We're gonna use first position, third position, fourth position, and sixth position during this video. So now we're gonna turn back to the front of the page. The front of the book, I'm sorry, on page four. And page four, um, before you play, you should buzz a little bit on your mouthpiece, like... If you're having trouble buzzing low notes and high notes, you might experiment a little bit. Your mouthpiece might be up too high or too low. If it's up too high, you might not play right. If it's down too low, it might be hard to get it to change notes. So. You want it to be just about centered on your lips. It doesn't have to be exact, but just about centered. And then if you want to do low notes and high notes, you think ah ee, ah ee, right? Like this. Some people find it easier to start on a high note and then go down to a low note, like. Remember that besides the ah e, you're also tightening up the corners of your lips right here, e, and mmm, saying mmm and squeezing your lips a little tighter together to get the high notes. So ah, and then e, e and mmm to get the high notes to come out. So now that we've done that, let's look at the notes in the book. On page four, we have the first note. It's called F for you, and I'm gonna just hold that long note for about four counts. It doesn't matter, and then rest for about four counts and then hold it again, and then rest again. I wanna keep my eyes looking at the note. You wanna notice where the note is on the lines. It's on the second line from the top. That's what tells you it's an F. F is first position. It says under the note F, it says underneath the letter F, it says one. To play F, bring the slide up to first position. That's why it says one. Okay, ready? There's F. a little box that has a yellow or orange background and it says the beat. The beat is the pulse of the music. You want to keep it steady and it says you can count the beat like this. One and two and, and it says tap your foot down on each beat on the down beat on each number and then up on the end. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then it talks about notes and rests. There's a quarter note. It's colored in with a stick on it. That's one beat. And then the quarter rest is a squiggly line. That means one beat of silence, a silent beat. So let's look at number two. It uses the same note, F, four times, and then four beats of rest. Then four more Fs, and then four beats of rest. You want to keep it steady? Use your tongue at the beginning of each note. And your lips have to buzz that note F. Or actually, that's the way trumpets would buzz it. You would buzz it like... All right, that's F. You can try it on your mouthpiece. All right? But for number two, we're really going to play. So we're going to play it not too loud, 
If you're having trouble getting that high note, don't worry about it. Just try your best. Tighten up the corners of your lips a little more. Think E. It's actually an F, right? It's an F. So it goes like this. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Notice I'm looking at each note and each rest so I don't lose my place. I want to keep track of where I am. I'm starting each note with my tongue, like to, 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 to. But I'm not singing to, right? I'm just whispering. Then I put my lips a little bit more together so they buzz. And I use my tongue also. Okay, number three is called a new note. It's called E flat. There's an E and it has a little thing that looks kind of like a lowercase b. It's not, it's called a flat. Don't worry about it, I'll explain it later. Just know that it's called E flat. And it says underneath the, the letter E flat, it says three. It says E flat is played in third position. Now, remember, first position is all the way in, then second position we're not using, third position is about here, near your bow. Okay, and it sounds like E flat. Here's three. and then play and then rest. Now on number four, we're gonna use that same note, E flat, but you play it four times. Each one is one beat and then rest four counts. And then look, the note changes and goes up to F, the second line from the top. So we're starting out on E flat, which is on the space. And then we rest four counts and then you're gonna to have to go from third position E flat, you're gonna to have to go back to first position F. So start in third position E flat. It might help to sing this first. Here's what the E flat sounds like, right? And then it's gonna go four times on E flat. I'm gonna sing it and then go four times on F after the rest, okay? So you could try singing it with me. It goes like this. E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat. Rest, 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 rest. Then move up to F, 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 F. Rest, 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 okay? That's number four, I'm gonna play it for you. Rest, 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 rest. Now I'm going to number five. It's called heading down because I'm heading down one note deeper. So first I did F, and then the next note was E flat, and now D should sound like this. D. Okay, so let me try that. It's fourth position now. See the D has a four under it. That means fourth position. So that's out a little further. Here was first. We didn't use second. Here's third. Now here's fourth. A little bit past the bell. You have to use your ear to make it sound like the right note. If it's too far out, you'll hear it, and then you pull the slide a little closer to you. If it's too far in, you'll hear it, you push the slide out a little bit until it sounds the same way that mine sounds. So here's F. Try that. Here's E flat, third position. Try that. And then here's D, fourth position out here. Okay, now I'm gonna play number five. You can play it with me if you want. Ready, starting on D. D again. Then rest again. Notice the D is in the center of the staff where the middle line of the staff is going through. The middle line of the staff will be going right through the D. Look at number six. It says moving on up because you're going to start on that D and then you're going to have some rests. Then D again. Then E flat. Then F. I'm going to sing it for you first. Fourth position D looks like this. You're going to go like this. D, 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 D. Rest, rest, rest. Now stay on D. D, D, switch. E flat, E flat, switch. F, rest, rest, rest. That's what number six is gonna sound like. I'll play it for you, and then you can pause the video and try to play it yourself.
Number six, starting on fourth position, D. Yes. Best. Now it stays on D two more times. Notice, the beat doesn't stop when you change notes. The beat has to keep going steady, so that means you have to change notes fast. In between D, when you go D, D, switch. E flat, E flat, switch. F, but now, be careful. Don't go so fast that you slam your slide in. That's gonna hurt your slide and it could hurt your mouth, okay? Let's go on to number seven. Number seven at the top of the page, first it tells you about a double bar. A double bar indicates the end of a piece of music. So that's another way you know you're at the end, besides following the notes with your eyes and stopping when the line stops. The double bar actually means that's the end of that piece of music or that song. Then it says repeat sign. You see the two little dots before you get to the double bar. If there's two dots, that means without stopping, play once again from the beginning. So if you see the repeat sign at the end, you're going to go play until you get there and then go back to the beginning and play one more time and the beat keeps staying steady, you don't stop. Okay, so number seven, there's not a repeat sign at the end. So I'm just gonna play seven one time. So note C, it's all the way out in sixth position. Now we've been working our way down one note at a time deeper and deeper from F. Here was F. Then their next note was E flat. Then D. And now C. Right, you can kind of hear where you're going, so, fa, me, re, and then when we get to the next note, it's going to be do, the B flat. We're not quite there yet. So we're going to be on re, C. Number seven is C, all the way out to sixth position. Ready? Rest. Notice on the C, it's a pretty deep note. So not only is my slide all the way up, but my lips are a little bit looser and I'm thinking more aww inside my mouth. But I can't make my lips and cheeks too loose. They'll puff out. We don't want that. Then that makes your playing get sloppy. So keep this E, keep that mmm, okay? But just let your mouth be more aww and let your, your lips be a little bit looser in the middle mmm to get that low note. Now I'm on number eight. It's called four by four because I'm using four notes. I'm starting on the C. I'm gonna play that four times, then go to the D, fourth position. Then there's some rests. Then it's gonna skip up to first position F. And then to E flat. But now I have to look at the rhythm. So it's gonna go C, C, C. Sorry. That's right. C, 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 D, rest, 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 F, 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 E flat, rest, rest. Now here's a repeat sign, so I go C, 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 D, rest, 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 F, 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 E flat, let's play number eight. You can try it with me or you can listen to me play it. And then pause the video and try it after me. Ready, number eight. One, two, three, four. twice because there's a repeat sign. Number nine does not have a repeat sign. It's showing us our lowest note in first position, B flat. Now remember we started in first position on the F, but that was the high note. Now we're on the B flat, that's the low note. So remember when we've been practicing in class, low, high, low, high, this is the low note and F is the high note. B flat is the low note, F is the high note. B flat, F, B flat, F, they're both first position. But the B flat is low, aw, with looser lips, and the F is higher, with tighter lips, and thinking E, aw, E, aw, E. Now we're on aw, B flat. Okay, here's number nine. Ready? Go. <laughs> Okay, now 
now I'm on number 10. It's called the Fab Five because it's using all five of the notes we've practiced so far. It's gonna start on B flat, so it sounds like this. Number 10 sounds like B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, C, rest, rest, rest. F, F, E flat, E flat, D, rest, rest, rest. Go back to B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, C, rest, rest, rest. F, F, E flat, E flat, D, rest, rest, rest. Now you might want to go a little slower. This is tricky. You're going to play those four B flats. And then there's not a break or a rest or a pause when you go out to the C. There's a line meaning that you're going to the next measure, but that just means you've counted four counts, and now you're going to go to the next four counts. But you don't stop and you don't pause. So you have to move that slide pretty quick from B flat to C. First position all the way out to sixth position. Don't drop it. Don't let it shoot off the end of your slide. That's not good. Okay, so keep, good, keep a good tight on it. Good tight hold on it. But you notice, if I'm just using three fingers and my thumb, that actually makes me able to hold on to it better without jerking my whole trombone so much. If you have a fist, it kind of jerks your whole trombone, but this the slide lets your wrist move to help you. Okay? So, number 10, Fab Five. One, two, ready, go. <sighs> Next, there's an orange or yellow box that has a bunch of information in it. We'll talk about that more in class, but it shows you what the bass clef looks like. It shows you that there will be a time signature after the bass clef. In this case, four over four, 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 it means there's four beats in each measure, four beats of time, four counts. And then it says um, note names, and it has a picture of your bass clef with all of the note names that are on the bass clef down all the way to the deep note E, which we haven't gotten to, it's really deep, down below the staff. And then F, G, A, B. Oh, there's B. B, that's the one we, we've been playing, B flat. It's on the second line from the bottom. Then C is on the second space from the bottom. D is on the middle line. E flat is on that next space up. And then F is on that next space up, the next line up, the fourth line. Okay, the fourth line from the bottom. That's F, second space from the top. And then the next note above that would be G and then A. We're going to get to those later. Don't worry about that. Let's look at number 11. It's telling you now to read the notes. Number 11 is called reading the notes. But it says compare this exercise to 10, the Fab Five. What's the first note? Second line from the bottom with the little flat in front of it. Look up at number 10. Same place, right? That's B flat. It's the same note, but now it's not quite so big and it doesn't have the note B written in the middle of it. You just have to know that it's B flat because it's the second line from the bottom. Anytime the note is on the second line from the bottom, that's a B. It has a flat in front of it. That means B flat. Okay, so we're going to play number 11. It's the same notes as number 10, but now they just don't have the names written in. You have to look at what line or space they're on. Ready? Number 11. One, two, three, four. So it was the same notes as number 10. If it helps you to go back to number 10 and sing the names of the notes when you do the positions, then go back to number 11, you can do that. And we'll play this in class too, don't worry. Number 12 and number 13 we'll get to later, don't worry about those. Remember to keep using your tongue at the beginning of each note. Um, take nice big breaths. Go slower than me if you need to go slower. I'm going pretty fast because I don't want to take the video, have the video take forever. But this will give you an idea of what the notes are supposed to sound like, but then you can go really slow. You can go as slow as you want to go. You can go. And notice that I'm always looking at each 
each note at each rest so I don't lose my place. Okay, thanks for practicing. Thanks for watching the video. Keep practicing. Don't give up hope if you can't get those high notes or if you're confused by all the notes, don't worry. Just pick a couple that you can play, focus on those ones, and then we'll keep practicing and you'll get better and better. It's gonna be a lot of fun soon. We're gonna be playing real songs instead of just exercises like this. Great job, keep up the good work, keep practicing. See you in class.